I submit the answer to our question uh, is found in a broader view, and that is that Abe does have a well-defined economic objective, but he also has a political objective, and that's to restore Japan's tier one status in the world. And that objective, depending on how he pursues that, uh, can undermine or contradict uh, the first objective. So uh, I'm going to focus in uh, these remarks mainly on the third arrow, uh, where there's been a lot of talk and we're told there will be a uh, strategy, growth strategy actually unveiled in June. But that reminds me of the first of a series of action plans way back in 1986, uh, when former Bank of Japan Governor Haruo uh, Mayakawa uh, presented a, uh, an action plan. And it quickly came to nothing uh, because of strong political opposition from vested interests. 30 years later, the list of required structural changes, which are integral to the third arrow, are similar, but the list is a lot longer, partly because in that time, Japan has started aging more rapidly. Agricultural liber liberalization was way up the list 30 years ago. So was land reform. They're on the list today. And as we've seen, they've been joined by labor market issues uh, to enhance supplies of skilled labor badly needed in Japan, and doing this by possibly relaxing immigration restrictions, increasing labor force participation of women of all ages, raising the retirement age, and easing restrictions on how employers hire and fire. Energy and tax cuts are also on the list. But implicit in a list like this, given the history of the past 30 years, is the question, what is the will to make these regulatory reforms? And why are we seeing so little action? Well, these are deep changes uh, that, are, that require a different mindset in Japan. Barring a crisis, very strong and concerted leadership is going to be required to form new consensus in Japan on structural change. And that's not going to happen overnight. So that's my first point. My second point is that these changes can't be made in isolation. Japan is not a closed economy. They have to take account of the rest of the world. Agricultural liberalization needs gaiatsu, the Japanese term for the foreigners made us do it, uh, made us take uh, uh, the difficult structural uh, measures that are on the list. And joining the TPP is an integral part of uh, the approach. And yet here again, trade negotiations take time. I think expectations were fairly high uh, that President Obama's recent visit to Japan would make a breakthrough in agricultural liberalization. Uh, it didn't happen. Why? Because President Obama is having trouble, that's no problem, uh, is having trouble gaining the congressional authority uh, to conclude and close uh, the TPP, seal the deal. So why change in Japan if you don't have to, at least not yet? So the story is uh, still unfolding on uh, the linkages between Japan and the rest of the world. The final point I want to make is that TPP or not, Japan's long-term growth also depends increasingly on deepening economic linkages, particularly with Asian neighbors. 18% of exports go to China, 21% of imports come from China. South Korea is the third largest export market after the United States, and a third of the stock of foreign direct investment held by Japanese companies 
is in Asia. Now, Japan's firms have pioneered the regional production networks, as we all know, and these increasingly tie the region's economies into deepening interdependence. So Abe's political agenda, with its nationalist overtones, is alarming the neighbors and has threatened to undermine his economic goal and increasing Japan's long-run uh, potential. So I would just close with the observation that Japan is a major power. Often it doesn't think of itself as one, but is beginning to again. And as such, its leaders have a special responsibility for collective stability. The deep uh, economic interdependence is a constraint that rational decision makers should recognize and that should temper uh, a strategy like the one of the three arrows. And so to summarize, I would simply say that there's high determination in Japan to change the uh, consensus, to change states of mind that are certainly needed, as I've argued, uh, with increasing recognition about the interdependence between the economy and the rest of the world. And I think further with increasing recognition of the, um, the fragility of some of these linkages uh, and a recognition that some of the political uh, uh, part of the messaging um, is modified, I think Abe will succeed but I think it will take time, and I guess we can argue now about how long. Thank you. <laughs>